Hi and welcome. Today in this video, let me show you how to create a data pipeline to bring data from Google Analytics to a data warehouse like Amazon Redshift, Snowflake, or Google BigQuery using Hevo. We are on the Data Pipeline Overview page. I will click Create Pipeline. With Hevo, you can bring data from a wide array of sources. I will select my source, that is, Google Analytics in this case. For security reasons, I've masked sensitive information in this video. You can configure a new source or load the settings from an existing one. Evo can only connect to AdWords APIs using a managerial account. Ensure you have one before connecting the source. Let me add a new account. You'll be taken to the Google login page and asked to authorize Hevo. Let me enter my credentials. Hevo will need these permissions to view the reports and other reporting entity details that will be required to pull the reports. I'll click Allow, and the account has been added. Let me click on my account and hit Continue. Next, give your source a unique name. You need to select the account from which data is to be loaded. A single Google Analytics account can have multiple properties. Next, you need to select the property. A property in Google Analytics is a website, mobile application, or device, etc., that your business team has set in the Google Analytics account. Let me choose a property. You need to select the view inside the property. A view is your access point for reports inside Google Analytics. Let me select a view. Once this is done, you need to select the dimensions you want to load. Dimensions are attributes of your data. Evo lets you select up to seven dimensions that you will need in your reports. This restriction has been applied as Google's API request can only allow a total of seven dimensions. Let me select a few dimensions. Next, select the metrics that you want. Metrics are the quantitative measurements in Google Analytics. Google's API request can have a total of 10 metrics. Hence, Evo restricts you to select up to 10 metrics. Let me select my metrics. You can refer to the links in the video description to get help on selecting properties, views, dimensions, and metrics for Google Analytics reporting. You can set the historical import duration in days. If you don't enter a value here, Evo will pull the data for the past 90 days. Let me set it to 10 days. Next, select the destination where you want to move this data. For this example, I'll select AWS Redshift. The pipeline is created. In a few minutes, all the data from Google Analytics will start streaming into Redshift. Now that the data is streaming, you'll have to map this data to a Redshift table in the destination. Let's go to the Schema Mapper. Observe how Hevo has automatically detected your source tables and schema from Google Analytics Source. Hevo has intelligently inferred the schema and data types from the unstructured incoming Google Analytics event. It also suggests the closest data types to which the source can be mapped on the destination side, so that you don't have to do any of that manually. You can also override this if you want. You can map the data to an existing table on Redshift or create a new one. Let me add a new table and make Hevo ID as the primary key. Let me map this to the table we just created, GA Events. And that's it. Your data will start moving from Google Analytics to Redshift. Now, if you want to do advanced things like transform the data in real time, you can easily do that with Hevo's transformations. Say you don't want to move the data for a specific medium, or you want to move data from just a few campaigns. You can write simple Python scripts within transformations to do that. Let me add a script to skip the data coming from referral medium here. Using the preview window, you can test your script on a sample event and only then deploy it. Let me test this. Since the medium here is organic, the event will be loaded. The medium in this event is referral, hence the data will not be loaded. Once you hit deploy, this transformation will be applied to all the future incoming events in this pipeline. Let me hit Deploy. 
If there are any exceptions, such as the destination not being available or changes in the data type of an incoming event, all such records go into a staging area called the replay queue. You're notified in real time over Slack and email about that. You can also get the details of the exception and see a sample incoming event to investigate further. Once you fix the issues, you can reprocess just those events from the replay queue, thus ensuring zero data loss. Let's see how this data reflects on Redshift. In Models, you can write a simple SQL query to view the data in Redshift. Let me create a new model and choose Redshift as the destination. I'll add a query to view all the data in the GA Events data table. Let's run this query. And there's the result. The data has been loaded from Google Analytics into Redshift. Similarly, it's very easy to bring data from any source to any data warehouse on Hevo. Head over to your account and move your Google Analytics data to Hevo. Write to us at try at hevodata.com for any queries. Thank you.